Welcome to JSA TV. I'm Liz Edwards. We're here in London at the International Finance Forum by Tech Capital. And we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in the digital infrastructure industry. Today, I'm joined by Simon McCormick, Chief Commercial Officer of Echelon Data Centers. Hi, how are you enjoying the event so far? I'm good. It's, uh, it's great to be here in, uh, in London. It's good to, be, uh, good to be out in the sunshine. And this is a fantastic venue we've got at One Grid George Street here. It's an amazing venue, isn't it? We're in awe every time we turn a corner. So congratulations on the launch of our newest campus. That was only last week. Tell us a little bit more about it. Yeah, absolutely. So we launched our Dub20 campus uh, alongside our Dub30 campus as well. So that's our plan to uh, build two large hyperscale campuses um, in, in, in Arklow. Uh, we're looking at uh, an overall investment in the in the region of around three and a half billion euros. Um, that's going to generate seven and a half thousand jobs during the construction phase alone, and then somewhere around eleven hundred during the operational phase. Um, so we had the Taoiseach down. Uh, we had elected representatives. We had the the head of AirGrid. We had uh, representatives from the from the IDA as well to uh, to, to to launch that for us and uh, wish as well as we as we start the construction journey. That's an amazing journey, and being an Irish person as well, I understand who the IDA are and the Taoiseach are, but basically our Prime Minister. So it was quite the who's who then who, who joined you last week. Yeah, absolutely, and we've got a lot of goodwill now as, as, as we start the project. Um, for sure, it's, it's, it's going to be disruptive to, to, the, to the residents of, of, of Arklow, um, but we're hoping that the, the sort of long-term gains for, for the area, the, the, the creation of, of, of jobs, um, the, the, the spending of, uh, of money in the area, the, the additional tax revenues, hopefully it, uh, it, it brings everyone together. Uh, that's fabulous. Some great additions. So what major trends are you monitoring right now in the industry? It's all about power. Um, it, it was always about power, but that that is we, we've gone to a we've gone to a new level. One of the things that we're doing at Echelon is we're having to build our own power plants. So, at our Dub Ten and our Dub Forty campuses, um, that's going to be supplied in full or, or in part. In, in the case of Dub Ten, by our on-site energy generation. So that's a it's a new skill set we've had to to learn. Um, but it's also a, a new source of capital that we've that we've that we've, that we've had to find. Um, at Dub Twenty, we are partnering with SSE Renewables to build an 800 megawatt uh, wind farm off the coast of Ireland, and that wind farm is going to connect directly into the substation where uh, where our site's located. That is absolutely fabulous. I mean, that's that shows you what new data centres can do. You know, the legacy ones. There's a lot of things that can be uh, that can be developed, but new data centres you really have. Uh, have the gift of being able to start anew, right? Yeah, absolutely, and and we feel like we are contributing to, you know, being a, a good grid citizen in, in Ireland as, as we like to think of it. So Ireland needs two thousand megawatts of conventional generation, so that's 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 gas turbines, um, to support its renewable goals. A little counterintuitive at first, but if you can imagine, if you've got a whole bunch of renewable energy like wind and solar, you do need a, a backup solution to that when when the wind doesn't uh, when the wind doesn't blow and, and the sun doesn't shine, which which is Ireland, right? Have, if only if we could find some way of turning uh, rain into energy, we'd be we'd be sorted in Ireland, but we haven't we haven't got there yet. But yeah, we are as part of this Arglo project, we are building five percent of that capacity that the that, that the grid needs, um, and that's our that's our contribution to the uh, the the, the Road renewable sector in, in Ireland. So sustainability is absolutely key to what you're doing. Anything else you want to tell us about about your sustainability agenda? Yeah, it, it's not just about the the the, the environmental and, and the economic impact. Uh, we, we've talked a bit about that already. We're also really proud of our, our sponsorship of, of Wicklow GAA. Um, we, we've, we're, we're investing uh, millions of euros in, of, into the into the program over over the next couple of years. We've also got a, a sponsorship of the of the rugby club in, in, in our club as well. So we, we really do feel passionately about giving back to the communities that we that we work in. That's brilliant, Simon. Demonstration yourselves as a good neighbour yeah, and a good citizen. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. To our viewers, stay curious, stay connected, and happy networking.